Hello, I'm Cassie Haley with Power Today. I'm at the Interstellar Conference in San Francisco with Andy Fioramonti. He's the commercial leader for renewable energy systems for T-Mike. Thank you for joining Thanks me. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about the history of T-Mike to start with. Well, T-Mike is a joint venture between Toshiba and Mitsubishi Electric. Mm -hmm. So that acronym, T-Mike, stands for Toshiba Mitsubishi Electric Industrial Systems Corporation. What we were established to do was be the industrial manufacturer for our parent companies originally, and then we now go direct to market. So we were established in 2003, and we're in several different business lines, everything from oil and gas, anything that uses a drive, an inverter, a rotary machine, um, any of those industrial systems are what we're going to manufacture. So you've had vast history in the heavy industrial industries, but now you're entering the PV market. So tell me about your experience within the PV industry. Yeah, the PV industry is really exciting for us. We actually have the engineers in our company that were originally the engineers in Toshiba that established some of the first utility scale inverters back in the 80s. Those engineers came into our company when T-Mike was born. And now in 2010, we came back into the utility scale sector of solar. Uh, in the U.S., we actually have a large install base now. Uh, from 2010 till now, we've installed two gigawatts here in the U.S. And worldwide, we've installed nine gigawatts worth of uh, utility scale PV. So how are you guys positioned to transition with the market into 1500 volt DC? 1500 volt DC is, again, another exciting avenue for us. Um, the, when the market began to shift, we were actually able to draw from all of our experiences in the other industries, bring that high voltage knowledge into the PV inverter and very quickly develop our product. And exciting for us, our product was launched in June. We actually have our first installation going in right now in Colorado, 30 megawatts of 1500 volt inverters. Um, and we were able to achieve a full UL certification on our order. So as far as we know, we are the first company to have a fully certified UL listed 1500 volt uh, PDM. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Now I also understand there's been a press release recently about a new lab that you guys have established in Roanoke, Virginia. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so our headquarters in the U.S. are in Roanoke, Virginia, and we created a lab there. We've been working on the lab for some time, but we just had our grand opening to uh, launch that lab and start using it officially. Uh, we invested $1.5 million into that lab, and it's really a unique lab, not only here in the U.S., but worldwide. What we're able to do in that lab is take our large utility-scale inverters and put them through all the testing we need in order to get our UL certification and do our reliability testing. So that lab has the capability of doing high temperature, low temperature. We can run any, everything from negative 20 Celsius all the way up to 75 Celsius. That lab also has um, humidity blowers, so we can do uh, high humidity testing and humidity freeze testing. We're also able to do grid simulations there. So we use that lab for a lot of different things, and it allows us to take that product development from the bench top to something that's a product and that's actually tested in this sort of rigorous lab testing. In addition, we use that lab for customer training. So we love our customers to become certified as technicians on our equipment, and we're able to do that training in the lab on a live inverter right there in front of them. That's exciting. Yeah, it's been great for us. So what kind of challenges does T-Mike still face or, or the market in general? Well, the PV market is continuing to drive to grid power. In order to do that, every component has to do their part to drive costs down and drive reliability. Um, the PV inverters have been going through what I'll call evolutionary change over the last couple of years. What we're trying to make sure we're doing though is being prepared for that next revolutionary change. So whether it's silicon carbide or it's DC optimizers or it's medium voltage uh, DC that's going to be used, we're working in each one of those technologies to make sure that as the correct one emerges to bring that, that uh, market to the next level, we're going to be there at the point. So, final question. What are you most excited about that you see on the horizon for tonight? Well, for us, we're continuing to grow here in the U.S. Our market share has been increasing significantly over the last couple of years, especially this year. We're doing a gigawatt worth of installations right now as we speak. Uh, and we're excited to see that with the ITC extension and customers becoming more familiar with TMIC and who we are and the reliability of our product, uh, that we're continuing to gain that market share and help this market. Okay, thanks for joining me, Andy. Well, thank you.